Alright you guys, welcome back to another video. It has been a while since I posted and filmed, but I am back with a good video, so don't be mad. But um, today we're going to be trying some Starbucks winter drinks. Um, they came out, I think it was November 2nd or 6th, I'm not sure which day it actually was. But they came out with some winter drinks and I'm super excited because I've never actually ever tried any of their winter drinks. Last year I never tried them. I haven't tried any this year. So I watched a couple videos this morning and um, I tried to find like some really good drinks that everyone recommended. I didn't want to try the drinks that everyone thought was nasty. I guess I will start with the treats since Bella saw them already and I know she wants one. So this right here is a snowman cake pop. I don't know what the flavor is inside, so let's see. I'm guessing. I think it's just regular cake. You know, it's more of a cake. Mm-hmm, a cake pop. Mm, it's good though. Pretty good. Mmm. The only thing I can say about Starbucks um, cake pops are that they're so sweet. But I mean, what do you expect? It's a cake pop. So I'm going to go ahead and try my first drink. And it is a hot drink. And it's a tall caramel brulee latte. And I've heard this is super good. Especially if you like caramel. So I'm going to go ahead and try this. I'm not really a hot coffee kind of girl. Like you won't catch me getting hot coffee at Starbucks. But you know, maybe if it gets cold this year, I might grab one. So let's go ahead and try. It's actually pretty good. Honestly, it just tastes like coffee. I don't really have any, I don't really get any caramel flavor or anything else. It just tastes like coffee, honestly. Let me try again. It's good, I guess. Um, I just thought I would get wowed. It just tastes like regular coffee, honestly, but it is pretty good. So I would get that again. Maybe just add some other kind of flavoring in it. Maybe some kind of like christmasy flavor like maybe extra caramel or something i don't know but that one was good let's try our next drink so this one is a toasted white mocha frappe and i'm so excited to try this because i heard it's super good and i've heard that starbucks um white mocha is super good as well and i love white mocha i love white chocolate so let's see this is how it looks and it has like candy on the inside all right, let's try this out. Mmm. Mmm. That's good, you guys. Mmm. Mm. It literally tastes like Christmas in a cup with white chocolate. That's good. Mmm. Yeah. That one is super good. And it's super, like, light. So it doesn't taste super sugary. It doesn't taste like coffee. I'm not sure if this is coffee. Hmm. Toasted white mocha frappe. I don't know. But this is so good. Like, mmm. You guys. This is so good. And excuse my nails. I have not had the chance to go back to my sister-in-law to get them done. Hopefully soon because I'm looking real crusty these days. Look. <laughs> mm, you guys, that is so good. All right, let's try our next drink. Okay, so this is the chestnut praline frappe. I'm not sure if I'm saying this right. And this is how it looks on the inside. So let's go ahead and try it. I've heard good things about this one as well. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I think it's the chestnut flavor, but mmm. So good. Mmm. I don't know how to explain it. Like, 
It literally just tastes like Christmas in a cup. Like sugar cookie in a cup, but more like nutty taste. But this is super good, you guys. Mm. That's good. The thing is, is like they taste super light in flavor. They're not that strong. Like they're not not that strong sugary taste. Not a strong coffee taste. So I like that when it comes to frappes because they're certain frappes. I'm not gonna name any names. McDonald's tastes like sh sugar, but I'm not knocking it because I love. McDonald's frappes like the caramel frappes but this one is so good it's so light in the flavor and it tastes just like Christmas in the cup now for our last drink this is a iced peppermint white mocha so it's just like an iced coffee I guess you want this? This one is good. Definitely has a hint of peppermint. Um, but I can taste like the chocolatiness. It has chocolate on the top, so I'm not sure if they put chocolate inside of it. I'm not really a chocolate kind of gal when it comes to drinks. Um, but this is pretty good. It tastes like literally a white mocha peppermint coffee is all I can give you guys for a description. Not my fave, but it's not nasty. So, if you like peppermint and white mocha, maybe you'll like this. Go ahead and give it a try. Going to my mom's after this, so I'm going to give these drinks to my brother. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Um, Let's go ahead and try our last treat, which was the snowman cookie. Alright, so here is the snowman cookie. It looks so freaking good. I want to know what's new. You want to try it? Try it. Here. I'll give you a piece. Go on, I want a piece. I can eat the piece of the head. Oh, it's yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. You guys, it tastes so freaking good. Oh, I'm gonna try it with some coffee. Mm. That's good, you guys. I've never tried their cookies before. And surprisingly, it doesn't taste like sweet, which that's the thing I love about Starbucks. Their drinks and their food don't taste like sugary. Like it is an overpowering taste of sugar, which I personally am not a big fan of. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish my cookie because it tastes so freaking good. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want, I can do a part two and try the Dunkin' Donut drinks or retry some more Starbucks Christmas drinks, just let me know. Comment below, like this video, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.